snow still here. A lot of it. <laughs> back to the vlog today is another daily vlog I thought I would just pick up the vlog camera and show you guys what I get into today nothing much going on it's 19 degrees outside so we're probably gonna be staying in for most of the day but I just had my coffee orange juice kind of had like my little slow morning that I love and this is in focus now I'm about to go do a little workout on the peloton and downstairs I'm gonna take one of my hydrate packets and I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about them because I have been loving them for my pre-workout basically just refreshing electrolyte powder um, I mix it in with cold water anywhere from 8 ounces to 16 ounces of water and it just hydrates me so much throughout the day it's actually incredible the formula contains all the electrolytes and minerals that you need to stay hydrated throughout the day it's like rapid hydration you guys I've been taking for probably uh, let's say like since I've gotten home I've had the packets and when I don't take them like throughout the day I can tell versus when I do take them I love taking them as a pre-workout I know people who also do it as post-workout just to get those electrolytes back up and to stay hydrated you can take it in any type of climate you can take it on the go which is why I love the packets which I'll show you guys in a second and you can also take like while traveling I know traveling really dehydrates you so it's really nice to have those little packets and bring them with you in your suitcase or your carry-on you can take for like sports activities outdoor activities all of that good stuff like if you guys are athletes this is like a really big game changer just really Really, really hydrates you which I love they also say for best results to take one packet daily I take the blood orange flavor I'll show you guys in a sec how I kind of like make it but I can tell like I said the days that I don't take it so I really try to get it in again I've been trying to work out every single day but I feel like when I work out I take it because I take it as a pre-workout but some days when I don't work out I kind of forget but then I can tell so I've been trying to take every single day before I work out because I've been like on a workout kick lately so taking once before I work out and I just feel better throughout my workout and then honestly throughout my day I feel like I have more energy and I just feel better okay so I have them up here you guys can see I've been taking the blood orange packets and then I have some extras back there but let me grab one of these they also sent me this cute little on the go water bottle which I have been using if I'm taking it to go but today I'm in the house I'm just gonna make it in here and then I have some cute little straws from them the packet has three times the amount of electrolytes of a traditional sports drink which is insane what's also crazy to me is that it's scientifically designed to hydrate you faster and for longer than water alone which is literally nuts you don't have to pour it over ice. Sometimes I just do cold water and shake it really well in the bottle, but you guys know how I am with my ice. I love cold, cold drinks. Also, no artificial sweeteners or stevia in this, which is huge to me. Also made with real fruit juice powder. There's no synthetic colors. And again, like I said, these packets are great for on-the-go lifestyle. And I've been taking the Blood Orange, and it only has 25 calories and 4 grams of sugar. I feel like a lot of you are probably super familiar with the brand Liquid IV. So in comparison, this has lower calories, lower sodium, and way lower sugar. So that is really nice to know. I'm going to drink this, answer some emails, get this in as like my little pre-workout, and then go do a workout. And I will just feel so much better throughout the day. So highly, highly recommend checking out the brand Hydrant. It just makes me feel so much better throughout the day. So I'm going to drink this, sit on the computer, get through this, and then um, like answer some emails while I'm drinking this, and then I'll go downstairs and do my little Peloton I'll bring you guys with. But if you guys want to check them out, I will have them linked down below. I highly, highly, highly recommend. But check them out. Thank you, Hydrant, for sponsoring today's video. So important to keep hydration and to keep electrolytes and things like that in your body. And this has been such a good go-to way. Also, the taste is so good. It just tastes like Gatorade with less sugar. Kind of. I mean, the flavor is blood orange, so that's like what it tastes like. It tastes a little bit berry to me, too. But it's really good. So check them out. 
Thank you, Hydrant, for sponsoring today's video. Sorry, the lighting in our basement is super weird, but I've got the Peloton screen turned this way. I think I'm going to do just like a floor exercise today. I love this, you guys. This Peloton has been such a game changer. Um, let's do 20 minute body weight strength. It kind of shows you you just need work I'm at. It shows you the music that's going to be in it. Warm up, full body. Okay, here we go. Uh, a 20 minute intermediate body weight strength class. Now, this is your first time with Pelican. Nice and smooth in those jumping jacks. Big breath in. There's a lot of like burpees and arms, so my arms are gonna kill tomorrow. I already feel it. Got my water. Man, it was good. I just put on my sweats over my little set. Everything I'm wearing is from Set Active. I'm obsessed with their new stuff. They sent me this sweat set. I'm wearing XL and then medium, and then in the workout set, you guys saw I'm wearing a small in both top and bottom. So. That size reference, they're really, really good stuff. They've like stepped it up, you guys. Set Active has like some of the best stuff right now. So check out their website. Um, but I'm so hungry. I'm gonna make a little like cold cut sandwich. Emily just sent me a <laughs> Snapchat of her lunch and she had like this cold cut turkey sandwich and I think I have mostly like everything I need to make it. So I'm gonna go make a little sandwich. Dylan went to go play basketball with some friends that are in town, just like to see them before everyone starts moving away for coaching but so he's doing that by myself here with Winnie girl Winnie where is Winnie oh shit Winnie's outside Winnie I'm sorry come on come on I'm sorry I left you out there for a little too long but you love the snow I've been giving her these for a while I feel like the better than leftovers from Trader Joe's they're like three they're like four bucks for a whole bag of treats which is super affordable I feel like, and I love the ingredients in these, and she loves them. So, let me give her one of these. I have these blankets over the couch because, you guys, the snow and stuff is giving me anxiety. There you go. Wanted to show you guys what I put on my cold cut sandwiches. I feel like I've perfected the recipe. It's so good. Well, it's not really a recipe. It's just, like, what I put on there. Sourdough bread is a must. I love the Whole Foods um, kind, and I also love the Trader Joe's. Right now we have the Whole Foods. Sourdough is such a game changer. And then I mix mayonnaise and this sriracha. I get this off of Thrive. I get that just at the grocery store. If you mix together, it's so good. I do romaine lettuce, red onion. I always mix turkey and salami. So I have just like roasted, sliced from the deli, and then salami this is from trader joe's and then i do some cheese i'll probably do i really like colby jack cheese lately so i'll probably do that i think dylan had a bite <laughs> had a bite and left it and then i do a ton of salt and pepper so i'm gonna get the toaster out toast this really well put it all together it's such a good good lunch finished product you guys I'm so like my mouth is literally watering I'm so hungry I've got some chips you have to have chips with the sandwich it's game changer so good and then I have a pickle so I'm gonna eat this and enjoy every bite of it <laughs> thanks for the coffee you're welcome <laughs> Kellen I'm pause it hey. <laughs> Dylan just got home he brought me a coffee and I'm sitting on the computer I'm doing some ordering for Excuse all these blankets. I feel like this looks so sloppy, but. but we've got a dog who loves to go in the snow, so, and who will not leave my side. But I'm doing some ordering for the bachelorette trip, and I'm so excited because I just got, I just found this swimsuit. I'm trying to find like cool different pieces for this trip. Um, 
just because like it's my only bachelorette trip ever and I want to like feel good in my outfits and like just like love my outfits so I've been like kind of doing outfits and bikinis we're going somewhere warm so I need bikinis and then three dinner outfits but I just got this swimsuit which I'm so excited about from RUMI I got a size medium so hopefully it will fit but I love the bottoms I love how they're like wrenched and like thick on the side you guys can like kind of tell I hate when my bottoms are like skin spaghetti strap and like thong I hate that so I thought this was pretty cute and like different for a white bikini so hopefully when that comes in it'll fit I'll show you guys when it does I also have some stuff from revolve coming in also a package came in today so I'm going to include a revolve haul in this vlog but I have some cute like white things included in there that I'll show you guys but I'm really excited for the trip it's less than a month away you guys, I wish I was kidding. I can't really tell it all, but it is snowing again. And I don't know how to feel. Like, I just... I'm over it already. I, I don't know how people live in areas like this. <laughs> Me, here I am living in it. Good morning, you guys. Um, It's the next day. I fell off the face of the earth last night vlogging because things happened. Exciting news is coming your guys' way, is all I'm going to say. So, get excited. Make sure you're subscribed. A ton of fun videos to come. Um, But... Dylan and I just got locked up in all of that stuff so I didn't get to f like get around to filming my revolve haul so I'm gonna do it this morning we're actually packing to leave for Denver for like a little um, birthday trip for Dylan we're staying at a really cute hotel I'm gonna vlog it but this video is gonna end and then I'm gonna start up the new one so we're getting ready to leave for that Dylan's at the post office doing stuff for his passport that we need to get figured out but so much stuff in from revolve I'm so excited I'm gonna have all these pieces linked to below some of this I bought with my own money some of it was gifted some of it was because you guys use my links and I get commission and things like that so I just want to say thank you guys if you've ever used my links I still think it's crazy that you guys like trust my opinion and like buy my stuff that I recommend um it's crazy it's, it's like awesome though so i have three pair of shoes i have like a good bit of accessories and then i have some like clothing that i can try for you or just like show you guys first up i got two of these saturday skin intense hydration mask i love that revolve has beauty on their website now everything comes so quick and so sorry i'm staring at the snow because it's falling really hard this mask, I actually got two. I used one last night and I can confirm that it's really, really nice. My skin feels very moisturized and dewy today. So I really, really like this. And I think it was like five bucks, super affordable. I got this hand chain from Lily Clasp. And I'm so excited. I got this for the Bachelorette trip. I got one from Orium Collection, Orium Collective, and it broke sadly. And I was so sad about it because it was like 95 bucks, I think. And it broke the second time I wore it. So I'm hoping this one lasts longer. And show you guys what it looks like a really pretty dainty gold chain and it loops onto your finger like this and then this part goes around your wrist so you guys can kind of see really freaking cute this will be so cute for the bachelorette i'm so excited that i've also heard really really good things about lily class or lily class i think it's lily but next i splurged on this pair of sunglasses i have the bigger frame of these and i also wanted the skinnier bottega has like became my new favorite like luxe designer brand i'm obsessed with their bags you guys know i have like three of their bags i have a wallet and i have two pair of their sunglasses now and i just love the brand i feel like it's so classy but like chic and like on trend so these are really cute they're smaller and i'm sharing these with you guys i know they're pricier but the first pair i shared a lot of you guys loved and got so i wanted to show you these smaller ones they're super super cute i also just picked up this um cosmetic hanging case i saw maggie talk about this and we both have the i remember when i went to boston we were talking about how we both have the same like cosmetic bag like not the one that hangs but just the one that opens by this brand and i love this brand for travel i got the tan color to match my other bag i can't i need a scissors this just opens and i love like i'm gonna take this with me to denver and i'm just gonna be able to hang it on the door and put like bathroom makeup cosmetic like just a bunch of stuff so i really really like this so easy and compact and then i have my other one that's like more for like my makeup and they will fit perfectly side by side in my suitcase i feel like i needed something like this because every time i travel i have like 17 million bags of like jewelry makeup hair skincare and it just like gets overwhelming when it comes to packing and unpacking so it was time that i got that before i get into clothes i wanted to show you three pair of shoes that i got that i'm so excited about First pair is a pair of heels that I got for the bachelorette trip and these are so cute. I definitely say they run 
like true to size i got a size eight i'm normally like a seven and a half or an eight but lately more on the eight they're just these really cute jeffrey campbell heels and they look like this i love the heel i feel like this is a good way to like incorporate silver but also like can mix the metals i like hate mixing metals with like if my dress has silver on it i like refuse to wear gold jewelry but i feel like with these shoes it kind of ties it all together um and then it just has these suede little straps that lace up your ankle and tie they're so cute i love this right here it was very like bridal to me and they're honestly really comfy these don't rub because they're suede so they kind of like have some give and they're just really cute so those are coming with me on my bachelorette. These would also be so cute for like any bride out there doing like rehearsal dinner or like bridal shower. These are really, really cute and also a really good shoe brand. So like I know they're gonna last. Next I got these slides and these are by the same brand as that pair of slides that I wear a lot that are like furry. Um, I saw that they came out with like these white ones and I was really excited because these are gonna be so good for the bachelorette for like cool shoes. Also, what is going on with my hair? Cool shoes, these are gonna be great. I will say they run a little small. I wish I would have sized up maybe one size. So if you get these size up but they don't rub at all I've worn them around the house since it's kind of like a stretchy it's not like a leather or anything it has like some give I always try to find shoes that aren't gonna make me blister and stuff right at first because I literally hate that I got a another Hunza G swimsuit if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that this is probably like my favorite swimwear line um, besides Frankie's I feel like these swimsuits just really make me feel the most confident they're very full coverage in my opinion and they they're one size fits most, but for me, it's very full coverage. So I've got the square neck top, which I am obsessed with. The fit of this is so good. And I love the scrunchy material and I just love the color orange. So I'm so excited about this swim and then goes up high up on the hips, really stretchy again. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like this swim suit is worth every single penny. They have a few different colors on Revolve right now. So I'll link them. They have a really cute pink one that I'm obsessed with. This is like my fourth Hunza G swimsuit and they're still always my favorite ones that I reach for. I never find myself like wanting to sell them or get rid of them. They're just like really good quality, always gonna be with me swim. So highly recommend if you're looking for a good swimsuit. I got this really cute scarf. I've been so into scarves recently. So I got this blue knit one, which is very different from what I have. And then in red leather, it says Fio Rushi. I know I'm not saying that. It says this in leather in red and it's so cute because I've been loving wearing my scarf down like this. So like this is hanging and shows and then just doing one over the neck. And this one isn't as thick as all my other ones. Sometimes I find that I get a little bit too hot. So I thought this would be really cute with like an all cream outfit. So I might bring this with me to Denver. So freaking cute, I'm obsessed with this scarf. I'm excited to show you guys all this stuff. Okay, I got this really cute pink top that I'm obsessed with. I got this in a size small from the brand Ator. And I'm obsessed, okay. Looks like this, really like out of my comfort zone, a pink shirt, you guys probably like Rachel, what the heck? But I envision wearing this in like the spring with like some really light washed oversized baggy jeans and then like my white pointed, um, those like white pointed heels that I always wear thought that would be so cute so just like a little collar it's cropped but it like has a really cool cut so it goes like asymmetrical and then the sleeves are really like big on the shoulder and I just feel like it's a really cool kind of almost looks like a high fashion top and I'm obsessed with it so I got this to wear my mom and I are going to, to New York in the spring to go pick up my dress and I thought that would be a really cute outfit I'm trying to plan ahead because I know things are gonna quickly start approaching okay next up i got this outfit i don't know if it's going to be for bachelorette or for honeymoon so i'm just going to show you because i'm really excited about it this has been like a set that i've been eyeing for a while very pricey but again if you're looking for something nice to splurge on for your wedding this is really cute i saw Haley bieber wearing this top in black and i actually got it in black and white because i love how it fits so much but it's just this colt gaia set it's like a white linen set this is the top, so it just hooks around your neck and then around your back like a little cute halter. Looks like that. The little matching linen skirt, and then the back has a cute little pocket. What I really like about these, I feel like skirts and stuff like this always sit like super high rise and your butt's hanging out and it's like a wedgie. This is more like a low rise, like classier fitting short. So I got those. It's a built in like skirt in the front, but then obviously shorts. And I thought this would be really cute with a pair of like ivory heels for either the honeymoon or maybe like one night during the bachelorette if I don't feel like wearing a dress or something. This could be really cute. 
And then last but not least, I got this white feathered top. Ever since I wore that orange feather top in Palm Springs, I've been obsessed with these feather tops. So I got this from, it's by the brand Bronx and Banco. And their stuff is really more like formal wear. If you have events, if you have like weddings, wedding guests, like bride, they have a bunch of really, really nice expensive things. So I got this top. I actually got it in a small and then I had to send it back for an extra small. So if you get this, it runs big, but it's this all white feathered crop and it's so damn cute you guys i'm obsessed with it this is very pricey i'm just warning you but i feel like if you're wanting this as like a staple item of an outfit and it's like your wedding they have a really cute skirt that goes with it um this is so damn cute so this will be a top i'll probably always have with me but i just wanted to share because i know a lot of you guys have been asking about like wedding outfit inspo and things like that um i have a ton of white bikinis that were supposed to come in the mail yesterday and i don't know where they are so i'll probably do like what i'm packing for the bachelorette trip since it's literally in like 20 days um video and just like include those just because i want to get this video up for you guys and i have no idea where that package is but that is everything that i got from Revolve. I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. I always enjoy seeing like people's Revolve hauls and stuff just because the shipping and returns and everything is so easy. So I always have my Revolve favorites linked down below for you guys, um, but I'll also have all these pieces linked like specifically just so it's easier to find if you had anything you liked. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I need to start packing. I need to have like a little breakfast. I'm like craving a green juice and make a coffee and get our lives together i need to pick all of this stuff up okay i just wanted to show you guys because i'm in shock about how much this case actually fits so up here i just have like cotton swabs stuff for my toner and hair ties and then here i have my face stuff my eyelash serum um perfume and then my, i just have my brushes underneath here everything fits really nicely and then here i have so much stuff i'm so excited about this i have face wash dry shampoo deodorant i have my toothbrush razor toothpaste and everything fits so nicely every time i travel i always have like seven different cosmetic cases and it's so frustrating i feel like a lot of girls will relate to this so i'm so excited that i found that it fits so so much for some reason this morning i woke up at 5 a.m and i couldn't go back to sleep and then i walked out I looked over and I noticed that Dylan wasn't sleeping beside me and I was like, what the heck? And then I like walked out to the living room on the couch and he literally fell asleep on the couch last night. He had like some new show that he watches come out and he fell asleep, I guess. And I went to bed at like literally, I want to say maybe 9.45. I was so tired and I've been waking up so early and I honestly love the routine I'm on. I would say waking up at 5 a.m. is a little early because I'm already kind of like, and it's only 10 o'clock. And I've been up for five hours, which is kind of weird, but it's like kind of a nice routine that I'm in. But definitely 5 a.m. is pushing it, so. But I think I'm just like overexcited about like news we got, which I'm going to share with you guys so soon. Um, and just like things going on. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm going to make a... I hope Dylan's okay. It's snowing so hard and he... That's my car. But thank God I got a new car because the Camry, that would have been tragic in the snow. I mean, they do really well at like plowing the roads. I was surprised by that because I feel like I'm from the South, whereas like we don't even have machines that plow the roads for us. So it's kind of crazy to see how they do it here. They're like professionals here. A lot of you guys are probably like laughing at me, like Rachel. Obviously it's Colorado, Rachel, like no duh. I'm gonna do coffee and green juice. I've never really thought of this, but I've been up for five hours and this is the first thing I'm putting into my body, minus a sip of water when I woke up. Um, and I feel like I intermediate, intermediate fast without even knowing. I feel like that's something I do because I've been eating dinner earlier too because I've been going to bed earlier and I haven't really been snacking after dinner. So I feel like and I know a lot of people who like actually do that to diet and obviously everybody's different, but I feel like that is kind of how I eat without even really knowing it. Um, I'm going to try to get a workout in before I leave today for the hotel, but if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I'll just work out one day this weekend maybe. I love this coffee maker, but you guys, it makes such a damn mess every time I make coffee.
I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. If you guys enjoyed, um, again, don't forget to subscribe. Heading to Denver, like I've said like a million times, Rachel. And I'm going to vlog that. So I'm really excited. We're staying at a really cute little boutique hotel. We're trying to get in all the fun Colorado things before we leave, which is going to be sooner than we thought. So I'm going to leave you guys at that. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Exciting stuff coming. I love you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.